Thank you, Brian. The Barack Obama campaign aired a half-hour infomercial on a lot of networks last night. Was it effective? Let's talk right now to Seton Motley. He's with the Media Research Center, and he joins us live. Good morning. That's easy for me to say. Good morning to you, Seton. Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Uh, did Obama need to put this on the air? Um, well, I, I hear that they're originally going to do an hour of just me of glowing media clips from major talking heads, <laughs> but th they couldn't pare it down to a half hour, so they, they went with what they went, had I then. understand. Yeah, no, um, I, th I didn't see anything new that, that really needed to be told last night that wasn't already told. 9,000 times by 9 million different people. So, uh, you know, it was a universal thing. To, to see if it's effective, let's see what the Pushing Daisies uh, ratings were, because that was the one, ABC was the one channel that didn't run it. Mm -hmm. We'll see if uh, pe people went in droves and, and they made a bunch of new Pushing Daisies fans. Sure. Yeah, it, you could tell, you know, there were stories that uh, Oprah Winfrey may have been involved in the producing, and it kind of reminded me of that show she did a couple of months ago. I think it was called The Big Give or something like that, where you've got all these down on their luck stories. I mean, it, it was very compelling that a lot of people out there are hurting, but I think you make a good point. Is this a new message where people have said, hey, I didn't know that till just now? Right, and, I, and I'm, there's apparently a Rasmussen poll that's coming out uh, t today, I think, that shows that more Americans now trust McCain rather than Obama on the economy. So him pushing this message of, I'm the man for, this, for the uh, solutions to this economic situation may not have resonated as much as it would have a week ago, two sure. weeks ago, a month ago. And the other thing about it, Seton, is the fact that if you liked Barack Obama before, this probably reinforced your idea that this is a great man to lead our country right now. If you didn't like him before you probably didn't like the special but it's that little sliver of undecided people who do traditionally wait until the very end do you think that was enough to tip them over one way or another well, it's it's interesting. I think you combine the fact that there was really nothing new in it with with that latest poll that said that by a factor of eight to one, the American people think the media f has been trying to get o Barack Obama elected, and you start maybe thinking of of overkill. You've got the media incessantly fawning over him. He he's buying nine million regular thirty second and one minute ads all over the place because he's got tons of cash. Right. And then he buys his half hour infomercial. When you add it all up, it may be a overkill and, a, and an overload and they may go the other direction just because like enough of this guy already all right and he hasn't even been elected yet well we'll ha we'll have to see uh, what the reaction is when the ratings do come out all right uh, Seton Motley we thank you very much he's at mrc.org thank you sir thank you Stephen all right